the theme of this video is going to be SK is trash and Raven is an angel, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Demi. Or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. Today we are talking about Love is Blind once again. First of all, I just dropped the video two days ago about After the Altar. I talked about how those last three episodes did absolutely nothing for the series. It didn't like give us closure or anything. It didn't even have the SK and Raven drama in the freaking series because I think they were done filming already. But... Lo and behold, I have found a podcast by Nick Vale. So Nick was on The Bachelorette, The Bachelorette, Bachelorette. Why well, can't I say that word? Bachelorette. Anyway, he was on that show. He's a podcaster. He's a producer. He's everything like that. And he brought her to his podcast. And he also has a YouTube channel. I'll put both the links in the description box. But he has a video that is two hours and 40 minutes. And if you don't want to watch that or you just want the highlights from that, we're going to be talking about that today because that's, first of all, that second was long, but a lot of points were made and I'm not going to go line by line by everything that she said, but we're just going to get into what we really wanted to see, what after the altar should have really showed us because they really dropped the ball on it. And I know his video is going to skyrocket and Netflix going to be mad because they're use, they're losing money from it. So I actually do have my laptop here just so I can make sure that I say everything that I want to say because there's a lot that I want to say. So let me just start saying it but before i do give this video a thumbs up if you like my makeup forget the video if you like my makeup give this video a thumbs up right now okay anyway let's start off with what raven ross had to say about this whole situation first of all her character development has been astonishing to me because while watching love is blind i was loving her and then the lying and stuff came out about the girls posting the stuff on tiktok i was like mm, she was in on it and then after the altar i was her friend again i was like oh poor raven and now after this podcast i'm more so like raven raven is the victim like i said in my last video and sk is trash sk is trash the theme of this video is going to be sk is trash and Raven is an angel, okay? As you can recall, SK was supposed to be leaving Texas to go to Berkeley to study at college for two years. We learned at the reunion that they were still dating. They had a relationship and things like that. And then after the altar, we saw that they were engaged. He had proposed again. Um, and then we also saw what played out on TikTok. I don't have the receipts of what played out on TikTok. So if you know, you know. <laughs> Try to find it on TikTok, just probably just put it in the search bar and maybe you'll find it. But I also have another video where I talked about some stuff. So I'm gonna link that video in the description box where I do have some receipts. So you can check that out there. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. I know I keep saying that, but let's just get to it. So one of the first things that the host asks her is what's important to make a long distance relationship work. So I guess she had appeared on his podcast before. Um, before all this came out and he had asked her this and she said the number one thing that's important is communication she would say they she said they were best friends she said that she trusts him so much she's like it's everything and as she was like watching herself or listening to herself hear that back you can literally see the tears in her eyes or you can like literally see her come to the realization that she was so dumb not that she was so dumb unjustifiably because some of you guys who saw through sk from the very beginning you guys are something else like you guys i would take relationship advice from you guys because i didn't see like i did not see that sk was this trifling man but those were some of the things that she did say what would make a long distance relationship work and it's so funny to see that they clearly didn't have the best of communication she clearly should not have been trusted him and he clearly was not a best friend because this is not how you treat your best friend but of course she did not know that at the time okay so um she said she found out everything about the tiktok situation um, in November and they were married by August. August is when they officially, you know, got engaged, not married. They got engaged and they were living together. So November, the first girl came out and said that they were having a good time. They were dating. And then the second girl came out and said the same thing. So Nick asked her like, Raven, did you ever think that anything that the girl was saying, the first girl, her name was Hannah. I remember that her first name was Hannah. 
he asked her, he asked Raven if he, if she thought any of the things that Hannah was saying was fake. And she said, no, I don't think anything was fake because I've seen the messages. I've seen the pictures. Some of the pictures that he sent to her, he sent to me. He was basically recycling the same pictures and sending them to Raven and sending them to Hannah. Like you really sitting up here sending the same pictures around to everybody? Like what is wrong with you? First things first, one thing about me, if I was receiving pictures from someone, but I'm not because I'm a halal Muslim princess, but if I was receiving pictures, I undoubtedly 100% do not want any pictures that you're sending to somebody else or that's on social media. Like I don't want those pictures. Like I need the exclusive joints. I need the new, new ones. I need the pictures that have only seen my eyes. I don't want to. I don't want to see the pictures that have been recycled. Do not recycle no media and send it to me, and you send it to four, five, fifty, eleven girls. If it's on your Facebook, I don't want it. If it's on your Instagram, I don't want it. Matter of fact, soon as you take the picture and you know it's for me, send it to me directly. Delete it out your phone because the receiving party has already received it. I don't want this picture to go to anybody else. So basically, SK should have just put them all in a group chat so that he wouldn't be repeating himself throughout the day. Not only was he sending the same pictures out to Raven and uh, Hannah, he was also saying the same mess. He was also saying the same messages like, oh, how was your day? He was responding the same. Like if the girl said, how was your day? He would respond to them both the same. He was basically copying and pasting the messages at this point. Raven also talked about once this stuff started to come out, they were already engaged and they were already married. So she was financially tied to him. Not only was she financially tied to him, this is more than just a boyfriend girlfriend situation now we are engaged like even though we're not married yet we are engaged and our fan our finances are you know looped into one another we got this apartment i'm sure sk wasn't paying all the bills which i'm probably sure he was because clearly he has money tea. like i told y'all in the last video this man has money like he tried to fool y'all make it seem like he was a broke college student on the episodes love is blind but this man has money we'll talk about that a little later but like i said once you're financially tied into with someone it's hard to untie yourself you get what i'm saying so so don't move in with nobody because at least when you get married you can take half their stuff with you and their money okay i'm just kidding but am i i don't know but yeah she wanted to defend him because my man my man my man if you saw her on tiktok she was standing by her man especially because this is her fiance. So once you're, you know, fiancés to somebody, you want to have a certain amount of trust with them. You want to believe everything that they're saying. Like, and she saw that the messages that Hannah had sent were from way, way long ago. I think the messages were from like March or whatever. And she's seen this on November. So she was saying how their relationship had grew so much. Okay, yeah, he was in the wrong for like talking to her and things like that. But this is in November now and our bond has gotten stronger and all those kind of things. So she stuck beside him. She was going to stick beside her man. And you know, when you're engaged to be married, you're kind of like, your relationship is going to have to withstand certain things. But I don't understand why is cheating like the main thing that people's relationships have to go through? Like, I feel like cheating, it's just, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. It's not a good look at all. But she wanted to stay beside her man because, you know, she was, you know, in love with him and all those kind of things. But as we know, SK is trash. And here is some more evidence of that, honey. But then... A second girl came out. I forgot what the second girl was posting or what's her name, all that kind of stuff. But a second girl posted a video and Raven said that actually her, the girl that posted the stuff, the second, the second video, she said that her and SK were talking before she posted everything. She was trying to like meet up with SK. We just gonna call her Brittany just for, so I don't have to keep saying the girl. But uh, Brittany tried to meet up with SK like via text and he like would not meet up with her or anything like that. So she dropped the video. She was like, oh, you don't want to meet up with me? Cool. I'm going to drop the video saying all this kind of stuff that was going on. And then she, and then Brittany said, oh, I'll take the video down if you give me $300,000. First of all, why do everybody know that SK got money? Like, I feel like, <laughs> first of all, I felt like she posted the videos or whatever she said because the first girl came out, Hannah. So she felt inclined to get her 15 minutes of fame too. But not only did she want her 15 minutes of fame, she wanted her $300,000. And that's where I think the lawsuit comes in. Like, 
back before SK said that he's like doing some lawsuit type of thing because she really tried to extort him for $300,000. Like what made her think that he has this type of money? Like, I don't understand it. Yeah, when Britney dropped her video, Raven said that SK and her were together. SK and Raven were together. They were at their apartment and they were home and she dropped the video, both their, both their phones started blowing up and she saw the video and she just started to cry. She said she has like this safe space in her house and she just likes to go in the closet and just cry in the dark. She's like, said she was really emotional. I'm an emotional person too. So I get the whole crying in the closet thing. But what I don't understand is that she also said that SK would like come to the closet and try to like lay down with her and try to console her. Why are you ruining this woman's safe space? Like, I don't like that. I don't like people's safe space being invaded. I once had a safe space. Like my safe space was my journal and someone read my journal and it felt very invasive to me. I ended up just throwing away the entire journal because I just felt like this space was not a safe space for me anymore. And in terms of SK and Raven, he came into her safe space in the closet, trying to console her, trying to, you know, say whatever lies to fit the narrative. And it's just like, okay, so now when all this comes back, Raven thinks back to that, thinks back to her safe space and thinks about how she was being bamboozled, hoodwinked, all of that. And this space is not safe for her no more because he just came up there and just told her lies. Like he just made the space not safe anymore. So that's really, really trifling. Like I feel like he should have just waited until she came out of the closet when she was ready to talk because I really did not like that aspect like when she was talking about it. Um, she was tearing up as she was talking about it because I know all these things are like so heartbroken. Like you put your trust, your love, your beliefs in somebody and they just let you down. And that is so freaking trifling. He let her down so many times and it was like zero accountability. And I do not like that. SK is trash. But yeah, anyways, so the season of Love is Blind finished filming in July of 2021, I believe. And SK was begging Raven to go to this trip to Europe. But the trip was like in three days. So um, did he really want her to go? Like, if you're going all the way to Europe, won't you tell somebody in advance, hey, like, look, I'm going to Europe. I really want you to come. Uh, if you got to take off of work, make plans, do all of that. But I really want you to come. When you tell them way in advance than three days, like, did he really want her to come? But like I said, Raven, she has a life. She has work. She wasn't able to take off from work. So she wasn't able to go on the trip. But he like literally was begging her as she said, don't y'all know this man took somebody else to Europe? He took somebody else to Europe, y'all. This man said, I'm leaving here with something. I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> and the host, the host Nick even asked Raven, like, did any of these girls ever like reach out to you? Like, Whatever happened to coming to a woman as a woman, like <laughs> online, you know, I me mean? see the screenshots of I'm coming to you as a woman. Yeah, man, been cheating on you. Yada, 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 yada. It's strictly done in the DMs. It's not done in a public space like the internet. But she said she felt like the second girl was definitely clout chasing. Like, especially since the first girl came out with something, she felt like the second girl really wanted to get her 15 minutes of fame. Like I said earlier, um, I don't like that. Like, why? I mean, I guess because she wanted the $300,000. Like, she was trying to secure her financial future. But she can't separate... She can't separate reality TV from people's lives. Like, yes, it's okay, kind of. I mean, I don't think it's okay to, like, out him as being trash. But why didn't you reach out to Raven, like, privately? Like, why didn't you try to lose all this extortion privately? Like, I don't understand why your first thing is to run to the internet. Like, I don't like that. I don't like when every time people um, have disagreements and stuff, their first thing is to run to the internet. Like, if you have a problem with somebody or an issue with something, how about you talk to them? Woman to woman, woman to man, something like that. Like, I don't like how she just put everybody's business online because it's just like, yes, we know, we now know that SK was trash and we kind of already knew that from the first girl posting what she posted. And now... You embarrassed Raven in front of millions of people because I'm sure they all saw your videos. Like things blow up on TikTok so freaking fast and people save videos, people save screenshots. So even if you delete the video, 
it still exists. Like your internet footprint really never goes away. So I feel like she publicly embarrassed Raven as well. I mean, even though it wasn't technically her fault, but people have to be more compassionate for to people's lives. Cause what if this was Raven 13th reason? Like all these girls coming out the woodwork talking about something, they sleeping with her man. And she's like proudly, um, you know, flying and talking about some my man, my man, my man. Like, I don't like that. I don't like how people just can't handle things privately. I mean, if they would have, we probably wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I mean, it would have came out eventually, but it wouldn't have been such a spectacle because people were going on Raven's page saying nasty things about her. Like, oh, you should have known, giving her two cents, this and that. I'm never going to say nothing to Raven about my thoughts and feelings about anything because this is her real life. Like, this doesn't affect me. Once I turn this camera off, that's it. I go about my life. She was like going through this in real time. SK was going through this in real time and people just need to have more decency. Anyways, so Nick the host, he asked Raven about, you know, SK and her posting about the lawsuit, yada, yada, yada. She said, yes, it was the extortion part of it that, you know, he tried to cheat Britney, tried, Britney tried to get the $300,000 from him. So the lawsuit was about the extortion part. But um, Raven also talked about how SK basically was trying to save his face. Like he was trying to save his career. Like he was trying to get these lawyers involved so they could just like erase or delete all these claims and allegations because it's like defamation of character. And you know, this is his career. That's what she kept saying. She kept saying that he was so focused on his image and how people would perceive him and his career because people get popular from these reality TV shows. Like people's lives, like these reality shows are life altering shows. And he was really trying to save his career. He was, he, Raven was saying how he would say that, oh, everybody loves you and everybody hates me. Yes, because you cheated on her. There, we have no reason to hate Raven. Like you publicly embarrassed her twice on purpose and you have the audacity to tell raven people hate me and love you and raven even said in the in the podcast that she even she asked she was like still you know trying to stay stay with still trying to stay with sk stick beside him you know help him out through this difficult time that he created and she asked him oh well what do you need from me what can i do to help your situation he gonna look her dead in her face. I mean, I don't know if they texted, they were on a phone call, whatever. This is just what Raven said. This is just how I imagined it happened. She gonna, he, Raven said that SK said that she needs to say that they were not dating when all this stuff happened. Like, what? Are you kidding me? You want me to lie to cover up your lies? Do you not realize how this is affecting me? And that's what Raven was saying the whole time. She was saying how SK never acknowledged how all these things were affecting her. He said, she also said that anytime she would like post on social media or, or respond to somebody commenting on her stuff, he would be like, you shouldn't be posting on TikTok. You shouldn't be posting on Instagram. Like he wanted to make sure that she was still in his good graces because if she wanted to, if she was malicious, she could have really ruined his, you know, reputation, his image. I mean, he did that on his own. She was loving him. Like, she was sitting up here loving you out loud on purpose. And you cheated on her out loud and on purpose, sloppily. Sending the same pictures, the same messages. Taking all these girls to all these trips. You did that on purpose. And now you want to fix your lips to tell Raven and tell the people that y'all wasn't together? Are you mad? I don't understand it. <laughs> I really don't understand it. Not only that, not only did the girl never like personally reach out to Raven, Raven said that the girl's best friend and her boyfriend actually reached out to Raven and apologized for the girl's actions and was telling her how the girl, Brittany, has been basically stalking Raven, trying to take one of her Pilates classes and doing all this crazy stuff. Like the girl is psycho. The girl really wanted her $300,000. So I do hope that SK does win the lawsuit because this girl is really crazy. Like how are you trying to make a life off of somebody's situation? You get me? I don't like that. <laughs> Back to SK being the trash man that he is. So Raven's birthday was in April and SK and Raven, they flew out to New Orleans where Raven is from and he got to, you know, meet, his, meet her mother and they had a really intimate time. They had a great time. She said everything was going great. Everything was wonderful. 
Don't y'all know a week after that wonderful time that he spent with his girlfriend, I'm not sure if they were engaged at this point, but the week after he did that, he went to Mexico. He went to Cabo, Mexico on a couple's trip with not Raven, but his side chick. He went to Mexico with them as a couple's trip and had they were like hugged up, post up, kissing and all of that. Like, I really think this man is crazy. He has to be crazy. Like, this man has so much audacity. It's ridiculous. Like, I just don't know where he gets the audacity from because his mother seems so sincere. Like, who do you blame for men being trash? Like, nobody raises a cheater, do they? Do they? I don't know. But, like, who is it to blame? We're just going to solely place the blame on SK. No, because this is really getting me hot and I'm sweating. Let me just powder this together. Let me just fix it up. Make sure you like this video if you think my makeup is cute. Because I think it's cute. Anyways, not only that. But so, y'all know in the After the Altar um, episodes, he proposed to Raven. He did this grand gesture. Why he told the producers to cut the clip? He told them, don't put that in the, in the episodes. This man begged, 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 begged the producers not to put the um the engagement in the after altar episodes. Raven said she had no idea. She said it wasn't until she spoke into one of the producers after they were like breaking up or something that she called her and they were talking about different things. And she was talking about how she thought Raven and SK were breaking up and how sk really begged them for like three hours to not put the engagement in the after altar episodes and i'm just thinking because this this man doesn't think this man does not think but uh i'm just thinking if you proposed to me and i was there when you proposed to me and the producers were there when you proposed to me and everybody was there and i'm walking around with this ring on my finger and we watch the episodes back and our engagement is not in the freaking videos. What are you going to say? 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 And that's like what the, the host was saying. Like, what are you going to say about why our engagement is not in the freaking episodes? What are you going to say, SK? You're not going to say anything because you never have nothing to say. You just like, you think you're just a smooth talking dude that can just talk yourself out of any situation. And you were talking yourself out of these situations because Raven was in love with you and she wanted to believe you and she wanted to trust you. And that's why y'all shouldn't be falling in love. Because once y'all start falling in love, your common sense, your common sense go out the door, okay? <laughs> but anyways, Raven is dating now. And that is so incredible because after everything she's been through, I don't know if I could be able to date after this because like, I know all, all men aren't trash, but after going through all of this, I would be looking at all men like they're trash. Like, don't, don't look at me. Don't sit next to me. Don't touch me. Definitely don't touch me. Don't do anything with me because men are trash. But she said she's healing and she's happy and all of that. She says she hasn't talked to him in like two weeks or something like that. And don't y'all know, this man is so audacious. He tried to get back with her after all this situation happened. He talking about some, this is what she said. He talking about, she's talking about some, oh, I'm sorry for not seeing how this affected you. I'm sorry for not seeing your point of view on things, you know. I still would try to make things work, yada, yada, yada. Are you serious? Are you dead serious right now? Because just like, if you knew or if you were sorry about not seeing the effect that this had on me, and if you were really sorry on how you publicly embarrassed me twice on national, on worldwide, Netflix network, and on the internet, like... Why would you want to get back with me? Like, why do you think that you would be the best choice for me? Like, people need to understand when you involve yourself in somebody's life, like, you're involving yourself in their life because it's just like, 
you know that they're a good person for you and they should be a good person for you also and i just don't understand i just don't understand hopefully that made sense it made sense in my head i don't know if it came out the way it was supposed to come out but uh raven also mentioned how uh, she didn't think that sk was attracted to her because he would say a lot of things about her appearance about her makeup and that's crazy to me because raven is absolutely drop dead gorgeous but of course the women that he cheated on her with looked nothing like her but she is happy nowadays so i want to know if sk is going to get on a podcast and share his side of the story and i don't think he will because it's just like what can you say what can you say at this point why would you propose to raven for the second time if you knew you were uh cheating on her if you knew you was with Britney or whoever you was with, if you knew you weren't attracted to her, if you knew you couldn't see yourself with her, like you clearly could not see yourself with her. You went to go see her mother. You was probably smiling at her mother face. And then the next week you're on a couple's trip without your girlfriend. I don't know if they were fiancés at that point, but he's crazy. He's crazy, y'all. He crazy as heck. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys got the closure that we desperately needed. Um, Raven, if you're watching this, we love you. I want to publicly apologize to you for thinking that you were in on this SK drama. That was like three or four videos back, but I do want to apologize to you for that. Um, I do love you and I wish you the best of you know, happiness, love, all of that. I'm so glad that you're opening your hearts again. And to the people that are watching this, realize the signs that a man is trash and do not ignore them. Also, do not ignore that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this type of content. I still want to make a video on Love is Blind Brazil. Love is Blind Brazil. Let me know in the comments if you really want to see it. Or hit that like button letting me know that you want to see that as well. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.